Have you ever wondered how to fill the empty hours of your day? Coming to work, cleaning the house, walking the dog with more enjoyment? If so, then you are going to be in for a treat. Jeffrey Hertzi has been doing just that since his years in college nearly three decades ago. And in today's presentation, you're going to learn how you, too, can have hours of enjoyment every week. Speaking on the topic of reading with your ears, please join me in welcoming Jeffrey Hertzi. The year was 1984. I had the pleasure of working my way through college. Just by show of hands, anybody else had to work their way through college? I'll assume the rest of you had the benefit of Mommy and Daddy Warbucks paying your way. Now, don't get me wrong, I would have much preferred to have a Mommy and Daddy Warbucks paying my way. Working your way through college was hard, but I didn't have that benefit. The job I had was, for me, nearly perfect. I delivered a morning motor newspaper route. <coughs> now, uh, I want to dispel any notions you may have of a newspaper route. The days of little 12 and 14 year old boys riding a bicycle and tossing the paper and delivering it on your porch are long gone. They were gone even 30 years ago. These days, the vast majority of newspaper routes are delivered by adults in a car driving in their car, delivering it in tubes, uh, tossing it in your driveway or in your bush. So, my day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, was this. Up at 3.45, out of the house by 4 a.m., pick up the papers at 4.30, finish delivering at 6.30, back in the house by 7, in time for my 8 o'clock class. Not to be recommended if you are a late-staying party type of guy. I wasn't. I was in college later, so it worked out fine. The downside was, it was pretty darn boring. I mean, I'm in a car for three hours a day, seven days a week. And the DJs at the time, nice folks, I'm sure, but after a couple of hours, I got sick of John Boy and Billy. Their humor got old, and I got tired of the music. Then one day, I was in the library, and I came across something I had never seen before. Books on tape. Have you heard of books on tape? It was a revelation to me. Now keep in mind, this was pre-iPod, pre-digital, pre-anything. They were on cassette tapes. In preparation for the speech, I looked around my house to try to even find a cassette tape to show you. I couldn't even find one. It's probably been a decade since there were any in my house. But it was magical. Because I have been a lifetime voracious reader. And that three hours out of every day just killed me because I felt like, gosh, I should be doing something more productive than just earning a living. But with books on tape, I could. I could listen to books in my car as I was delivering those papers. I probably went through the entire Mecklenburg County Library of Books on Tape in the three years and three months it took me to get my college degree. Every single morning, just I listened to some of them again and again. I even listened to romance novels because I ran out of things to listen to. <laughs> and I wasn't going to listen to the radio, so I listened to authors I would never have read. That has continued to this day. And I want to share with you how easy it is to really improve those vacant hours of the day. I brought in some current books that I have. Of course, there are now books on CD. I'm currently about to listen to Steve Jobs, The Autobiography by Walter Isaacson. And this is The Triple Agent, a, well, a story about a CIA triple agent mole. These happen to be nonfiction, but I also listen to fiction. Now, these I obviously purchased, and I would say that uh, probably half my listening are items that I purchased. <coughs> but I'm here to tell you that this is also the zero cost option for all of you. Anybody want to guess why? The library! The magic library card. How many of you here today actually have an active library card? Oh, another reading audience. Well, for those of you that didn't raise your hand, I, you have an assignment for you tonight. I want you to go right down to Sierra View Library 
get yourself a library card. It's free. It's one of the very few government services that haven't been slashed, <laughs> even though the hours have been cut. But you can find a way to get to the library. They have a huge selection of audiobooks on CD. Any genre you can imagine. And I'll tell you another little secret, too. They have a huge selection in addition to what they've all purchased for the simple reason that I donate everything I buy to our local library. And they put it into circulation. So you'll, these, as soon as I finish with them, since I rarely read a book a second time, off to the library they go, they put them in a folder, they enter the circulation. It is absolutely one of the funnest things ever. Once you get used to it for long road trips, for traveling, this will change everything because you'll be able to do this. But it gets better. Ten years ago, I got a flyer in the mail for something called the Great Courses, College Courses on DVD and CD. Well, you know what a learner I am. I fell in love with those too. These are two college courses. These are actually full-length college <coughs> courses that you can listen to in your radio, watch on your DVD for some of them. These are current ones I'm working on. Look, how to look at and understand classical great art and mathematics, philosophy, and the real world. I don't recommend these particular topics for your first college courses. Uh, it's kind of hardcore. These can only be watched on DVD because of the physical nature of the mathematical equations that they're discussing and stuff like that. But the ones I recommend if you want to get college courses are the ones about history. They work great in audio format. And if you get a good professor, he really brings the magic of ancient Egypt or ancient Rome or the medieval era uh, right to your car living room, if you will. Now, these are not inexpensive, I have to say. That's okay. Why? Because they are at the where? Library. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to know they have a huge collection of these courses for the simple reason that every single course I've purchased over the last 10 years I've donated to the where? Library. And since you are all going to go out this very afternoon and get yourself a library card, you will have access to those as well. If you have the feeling that you waste a lot of hours during the day <coughs> cleaning house, doing all those sorts of things that is often considered a waste of time, I encourage you, get down to the library, pick up some of these audiobooks, pick up some of these courses, and turn those into fun, enjoyable, productive hours. Mr. Tosin.